People who exercise slash lift weights, what is your secret to staying motivated when it takes a while to get results? Make it a habit. Go on the same days every week at the same time. Set yourself up to avoid distractions, like, if you go after work, go straight from work without stopping at home, you won't need motivation, it just becomes a thing you do. This 100,000% I had been fat my entire life, up until last year. I've lost 130 pounds and built quite a bit of muscle. If it weren't for the extra skin I'd actually have abs for the first time. Consistency is what did it. It took a good 5 maybe 6 months to see Rei muscle. I bought weights and a treadmill and used them 6 days a week. It's habit now, don't even think about it anymore. Edit, I attached pics to my profile if anyone is curious about the change. I'm pretty proud. I've lost 130 pounds holy moly you've almost lost one of me. My dad likes to joke that I'm half the man I used to be, but in a good way. I've got 100 to lose. How did you fix her mindset to do that? I'll be honest Rona keeping me trapped at home may have helped a couple times. Once I started seeing results, mostly in my face, it kept me motivated. I'd also get rid of clothes once they were too big. So I put a financial burden on myself as a sort of motivator. That's quite smart actually. Good for you. Yes. Make it routine. When I started working out again I decided that it would probably take me about 6 months to feel really good and see significant results. I figured that I could be at 75% performance by then, in 26 weeks. My goals are health and stamina, not major appearance changes. This is where it gets weird but stay with me. I got motivation by thinking of my performance slash effort as charging a battery. So 75 divided by 26 is roughly 3 per week. After one week of working out I was still slow, sluggish and tired. But of course I was, I was at 3%, battery life. The next week I was at 6%, and so on. I wouldn't be out of the red zone of my battery until 20%, and that was almost 7 weeks. By then, working out 3 times a week was a habit and I sort of forgot about the battery life thing. But when I got COVID and was out of the gym for two weeks I reminded myself that my battery life had drained and I needed to work for a few weeks to bring it back to pre-COVID levels. Some people may think that is a weird way of motivating myself but it worked for me and I've been three times week cardio slash weight since December, minus my COVID weeks. Agreed, you should start seeing it like brushing your teeth. You don't think about it, you just do it. That's why I personally think it's extremely important to pick the right gym that's not too crowded, and to try to work out in the morning when it's easier to stick to a routine. If you work out in the evening, you're much more likely to be tired or bored and looking for excuses to cancel. I'm the exact opposite. If I set a rule like every MWF or whatever, I know I'll rationalize a reason to be lazy one day. I did this for years and always felt like such a bum for not following through. Now I do my exercise routine 3 days on slash 1 day off. Every week it's a different set of days. Being a different schedule every week helped my boredom problem. I've started piloting my own flexible fitness protocol, because I'm terrible at following a routine program or schedule. Aside from a few main lifts that I'd like to continue slowly progressing on, I map out a workout routine for the day right before I go to the gym. Intensity varies, based on time of day, energy levels, sleep, etc. I aim for 4-5 to five workouts a week with a few walks in between. Exactly. And crafty workout is better than no workout. Just tell yourself you're going to drive to the gym. Tell yourself if you get there, you can turn around and leave. 99% of the time you'll get out of the car and work out. For me it's putting on my workout gear. Once I've gone through the trouble of squeezing myself into a sports bra, I might as well go to the gym and at the very least walk on the treadmill for an hour. I started off doing it for bigger muscles etc aka wrong reasons. But over time I found that I like the feeling of progress. Adding numbers to previous bests. A sense of accomplishment. So now I have no problem lifting or going to the gym, because I have a fondness for it. This is it. Focus on the process, not the result. Don't do it to see results. Do it to feel results. Yes. 
Within a few days of building my body up to regular stretching and push-ups, it now craves more. Starting to build up to a full routine. You know you've made it when you feel gross if you don't work out that day. It's funny because even though I'm still eating healthy, I feel so gross when I skip a workout. This is everything. If you only go to see a difference in your body, you'll never be satisfied. If you go to feel energized and a mood increased, you'll get that satisfaction most of the times you go. That's what keeps you there. Results happen quicker than you think, although your body won't transform that fast, you'll notice that exercises get easier and easier to do or you're able to lift more weight. I'm doing a bodyweight routine right now and it's kind of addictive to see myself get closer and closer to being able to do pull-ups, or being able to do push-ups with proper form and range of motion. This, thank you, was what I needed to read and probably why I kept scrolling through it. I can do hard things, this is a hard thing. But finding bits of reassurance is so helpful. I've never actively dieted or worked out and so this is a really new process for me. I realize it's a long-term lifestyle change I'm doing here, so I've started small, just to build the habit of doing, though even the little bit I'm doing is still challenging to me. So thanks for posting that. You and everyone else. Thanks. For me it feels good to exercise, and it works wonders for my mental health as well. This understanding of myself has made it easier to come back and keep up the exercising. I just started exercising again, but instead of doing it to lose weight, I'm doing it to curb my anxiety. It's astounding that I never realized how much it affects my mental health. The anxiety relief that comes with exercise is huge for me. The physical changes ended up being a bonus. Also, I've had a hard time working out because of life stuff lately. Thank you for reminding me why I do it, I'm going to go for a walk today. Yep. Running is my antidepressant. I haven't been able to run in a year because of COVID, I run at the gym where there's a daycare. My mental health is at rock bottom. Finally, got back this week, feels amazing. I'm pretty terrible at running. Even after a year of 3x a week my pace was awful. But I don't run to get results, I run because it feels good. To clarify, being done feels good, the actual running is always hard. Highly recommend a Couch to 5k app if you want to get into running. Having a program makes a huge difference. This is it. Focus on the process, not the result. Nobody stays motivated to exercise. Discipline is doing it even when you're not motivated, because it is part of your routine. I like to tell myself do it badly when I'm unmotivated, because that gets me to show up, and showing up is like 60% of the battle. Turning up every time is the hardest part. I've dragged myself to the gym, whinging and bitching, and promised myself that I can leave after 5 minutes of working out if I still want to go home. I've never gone home after 5 minutes. Just getting started helps my motivation, but getting started can be so hard. Some of the days I am tired or just not feeling up to it actually turn out to be my best workout days. After a few minute cardio warm up or whatever my energy is usually good and I can get a decent routine in. Getting started is really the hardest part with any project. Once you're in the groove it's easy to keep going. The cliche Nike saying, just do it really holds some serious meaning when you think about it. This one. Motivation kicks in once every few months and lasts like a week. Discipline keeps you going in the months in between. I used to hate it and get a feeling of getting away with it by not doing my exercise routine. After several months of doing it consistently, nothing else to do during COVID, now I feel like crap if I don't do it. It's funny how the routine itself becomes more motivation than any benefit you see. Now instead of I have to work out today it's maybe I get it done early, so I have that marked off the list for today. Hate, inward and outward, plain and simple. Hate and revenge are underrated as motivators. This guy is training to kill his long-lost brother who betrayed his clan, I just know it. Revenge not so much, but spite however. Yep. Was just talking about this earlier. I don't really enjoy living, don't really like myself regardless of how much I do and succeed. But, I'm not selfish enough to kill myself. Drugs don't work anymore and just make life even worse. 
So I go to the gym as a form of punishment. I go in with the intent of hurting myself, however it actually makes me feel better afterwards. A catch-22 in a good way I suppose. Blah blah my body is a temple and I treat it with respect. No, I'm trying to cause myself pain. Plain and simple. It's the only way that has motivated me to keep exercising. If I drop dead from cardiomyopathy during a heavy workout, even better. Motivation is kindling. It burns easy, but it doesn't burn long. Use it to start but don't rely on it. Habit is twigs and sticks. Easy to get going once you have motivation, burns a bit longer, but eventually you'll break habit. You'll have to stay late after work, the gym has maintenance, there's a global pandemic. And you can't go for long enough that you no longer want to go. Discipline is a log. It's an identity. I train because. I train. There is no why. There is no reason. To be me is to train. If the gym is closed, I train at home. If I am injured, I train what is healed. You don't stay motivated. You start motivated. I'm working on something, in fact it's a gift, for future me, it's called not dying of a heart attack at 43. Find the right routine and exercises and it becomes fun and enjoyable. I've been lifting over a decade, want to take a guess at how many exercises I absolutely hate? There are dozens, but there are equally as many that I enjoy. Find what you like and stick to it. Also, what's your measure or results? You can get results immediately, in the form of mental improvements and overall well-being. Exercise is fantastic for mental health, especially anxiety and depression. One good part of a routine is workout partner to keep you responsible. A. It's a double-edged sword. Sometimes they keep you accountable, sometimes they give you an excuse not to go, because they can't make it, why not take a day off? The iron path is one you must ultimately walk alone. 17 years of lifting, 15 years alone. You are the only person accountable for your results. I feel suicidal if I stop. I feel suicidal, Reddit, happy cake day. Due to the unique way my brain is wired, my self-worth rests entirely on superficial crap that logically shouldn't matter, almost all of which is granted by the gym. If I'm making good progress I'm as happy as can be. Today I hit my 4 sets x 8 reps of 65 kg overhead press, so I get to move up to 70 kg, exceeding pre-lockdown. As I do full body, overhead press typically gets held back by pretty much every other upper body exercise, so it was always a struggle to make progress, but now it actually seems to be going relatively smoothly. Looking forward to it next time. Not wanting to have to achieve my calorie deficit through further diet restrictions. I've been able to lose about a pound a week via moderate fasting and burning an extra 3,000 to 4,000 calories at the gym. Without the extra calorie burn, I would have to give up way more food that I really enjoy. It's a quality of life calculation. I like the food more than I hate the gym. I run, hike, and lift weights. It's not really a matter of motivation. I just like doing it. Also, I really don't like not doing it. If I'm ever on the fence about doing any workout, I remind myself that I have never regretted a workout I have done, even if I have to dial it back a bit for some reason. I always feel better after a workout, and never feel good about missing one. Honestly, just start doing it with real intention and in a good way, and stick to it for some time. Force of will will keep you in for the short term. Results will keep you in for the midterm. And once you got there, then it's become a part of you, and that will keep you in for the long term. No one that consistently exercises does it through motivation. That is a complete myth. It's a lifestyle. A habit. It takes discipline. You start to feel off if you don't exercise. Once you get to that point, it's easy. Getting there, not so much. Find exercises you like and enjoy, and once you see the numbers starting to increase it'll naturally give your motivation a boost as you strive to continue improving. Also, changing exercises if it feels like it's getting stale will keep you excited, and as someone else already said, 
once you get to the point that you're seeing some medium to long-term results, lifting weights will have become a part of your life and you won't want to stop anyway. Motivation will only get you so far, but by the time that dries up it'll likely give way to dedication and self-discipline instead anyway. And remember one of the great things about lifting weight is the only person you're competing with is yourself, so when you beat a previous record etc you know you've only got yourself to give credit and that feeling is extremely rewarding and addicting. And if it's not your day and you can't give it 100%, you've let down a grand total of zero people, you can just pick up next time where you left off. Motivation gets you started. Dedication keeps you going. Work your triceps if you want fast results. Seems like those get swole a bit faster than other muscles. That should help with motivation. Those efforts are more than half of your arm, having big triceps makes your biceps look bigger, and they love high rep work. If you want to see arm results fast, train them on the days you don't feel like going to the gym, and you'll feel way better about going. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.